Hi everybody. Um, this is my first attempt at a YouTube video um, to bring awareness to a invisible illness where, you know, it's a very rare illness, um, gastroparesis. Uh, I was diagnosed with gastroparesis um, in January of 2016 of this year, um, but I've had these symptoms for over five years. Um, gastroparesis, for those of you who do not know, is a paralysis of the stomach. Um, my food does not digest quickly. It sits in my stomach for hours on end. And sometimes it doesn't digest at all, so I end up throwing up. Um, most of the symptoms of gastroparesis are nausea, bloating, um, vomiting. Not everyone vomits, though. Um pain mild pain to sharp pain um you know and not being able to eat now there are some with gastroparesis who are able to eat normally and they may be at the beginning stages of gastroparesis so they may be able to eat um a person like me who is i would say in the middle stage is called moderate gastroparesis i'm not really able to eat solid food um, I've gotten to a point where I can only do a liquid diet. So I've started doing that. Um, am I going to sit here and say I don't eat solid food? That's not true. I do. I do eat solid food. I try to, there's a list that I go by and I try to eliminate foods every week off of that. Um, I would say 75 to 80% of the food I do end up throwing back up. So um, I'm mainly on a liquid diet. Um, you know, when I first got diagnosed, I went looking for information and looking for people who had this, this, this illness, you know, and that I had never heard of. And the first place I went was to YouTube. And the stories that I found, as amazing as they were, I could not connect with them. Um, there were thin women on feeding tubes and you know had surgeries and all this other stuff and I couldn't relate and I said I needed to find someone that I can relate to someone that you know looked like me and was on the heavier side of the scale you know that unfortunately gained weight and didn't lose weight due to gastroparesis because I don't really lose weight I tend to either maintain or I tend to gain and no matter how much I don't eat I still gain um, but that doesn't make me any less sicker I'm just as sick as everybody else I still have the nausea I have chronic fatigue I'm always tired because I'm not getting the nutrients that I need on a daily basis um, you know, it's hard for me to get up because I'm in pain all the time. And, you know, so I fight just as hard as the next person that has this illness. Um, you know, when I first got diagnosed, I also looked for people, you know, communities, groups that had gastroparesis. And in joining these groups, I found amazing people to talk to. But the downside of the communities were that people were in competition with each other um, on who was sicker and who had more illnesses and bashing each other. And I don't feel that that's the right way to go. I think that we are a community of people who suffer from the same illness. You may have another illness that I don't know nothing about. But you don't know what I'm going through other than gastroparesis because that's the main thing I put out there. But I'm also fighting other things. I'm fighting PTSD. I'm fighting depression, severe depression. I'm fighting severe anxiety. Um, I also have diabetes, which is the main reason how I got gastroparesis. I got it from diabetes. Um, many people don't know why they get gastroparesis. It's called idi idi idiophic. Oh, crap. I think I messed that up. But anyway, it's pretty much an unknown reason for people to get gastroparesis. And, 
you know, doctors are baffled. There's not really a lot out there. So doctors try to do the best they can. They give us different medications and everything. But back to my point was we shouldn't be bashing each other. We should be joined together as one to raise awareness on this invisible illness that nobody really sees. People look at me and they always tell me, oh, but you don't look sick. Uh, but you you lose a few pounds, you know, because you're a little bit overweight. Um, I've had doctors tell me I'm obese. So, I'm not suffering as much as other people. And to those people, I say, no. Um, just because you don't see my illness doesn't mean that I'm not sick. I'm very sick. Um, to the doctors, I say I'm obese. I'm sorry. It's very difficult for me to lose weight when I'm not eating anything and my metabolism has slowed down to pretty much basically nothing. Um... So, you know, like I said, we need to be one, banded as one, to raise awareness, to spread what we know, the knowledge and education and the symptoms. Everybody has different symptoms. We don't all have the same symptoms. We don't all tolerate the same things. Um, we don't all tolerate the same medications. So we need to speak up and not be silent and you know, just be able to go out there and fight for this. Um, as of right now, there's no cure for gastroparesis. Um, we have had many people pass away from gastroparesis or from the complications of gastroparesis. And it's not really documented out there. It's not really known. Um, the community knows because we band together during those times and try to figure out how to get past it and you know work through it and figure things out but you know this is the time right now for us to fight and to educate people and to talk about it as much as we can and I will be on this YouTube page more than likely every day or every other day posting a video of my good my bad my ugly you know the things that I go through on a daily basis what my family goes through um because we're not the only ones fighting this illness our family is fighting it with us it may not be your cousins or your aunts or your uncles but your immediate family your spouse your partner your children you know people who are taking care of you your caregivers um they fight with us every single day and you know, sometimes we have our bad days and we snap at them. I snap at my husband all the time because I'm frustrated and I'm scared and I'm scared of dying. You know, I, I think about that every single day and I'm scared of leaving my children. They are my heart, my soul and everything. And I know there's a lot of women out there who are parents and they don't want to leave their children so we fight even harder there's men that have gastroparesis and do not speak up because they feel that because they're a man they will be looked at as weak um that's not true you have a voice we need everyone's voice to raise awareness on this illness i need people to speak up um and i'm gonna make my voice heard you know there's people on my personal page that don't share none of my statuses about gastroparesis, that don't um, or didn't want to sign the bill to Congress that we were passing around for people to sign. They rejected my invitation. Um, they don't care to know. But then we do have a majority of people that want to know, want to educate themselves on this illness, and we need to speak up. So... This may be an all over the place video and I apologize for that. I had so many thoughts in my head of what I wanted to get across. And my main point is that we as a community, as including our families, our children, you know, our friends who do support us, we need to speak up. We need to fight for gastroparesis awareness. We need to fight for a cure. We need to fight for more research. Um, you know, once I get my thoughts together on paper and figure it out, I'll make videos, different videos, symptom videos. I'll make, you know, a day-by-day -day video of the good and the bad. You know, I'm not always positive. I'm not always happy. I'm very sad. Um, I have a sad video that I probably will be posting tomorrow. Um, 
and it was my one of my worst days that I had and I want to as nervous as I am about presenting that because I'm not good with putting myself out there I need to put it out there so that people know that as many good days as we feel we have and we want to have there's also bad days and that doesn't make us any bad any worse um so that's pretty much it you know have a good night and I hope you like my video thank you